Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot that next time we were going to play, we were needing to go into the Serenity part. It doesn't feel like it's been a week since I've played. It honestly feels a lot longer. It's, I didn't even remember that's what we were meant to be doing. Yes, 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 I'm working on it, alright. Just chill. What have we got? New friend requests. Cool, well, at this rate we may have to... Oh no, they upped the friend limit. I thought it said 25 last time I was playing. I was gonna say, we're gonna have to start calling people I don't know. <laughs> but we don't have to just yet. So I will leave that. Uh, do we have any extra events going on? I don't think we've done this. Uh, hello, nice... Shh. Oh, that's right, the Sumeru thingy. Yes, there's that. Remaining time, five days. Let's do the Serenity Bot first. <laughs> Gadgets. Oh, God, we really need to do something about this surplus of uh, crap. Serenity. Click to place it. Place. All right. How do I collect it back? <laughs> Enter the Serenity. So if I were to just walk away, do we lose it forever? This is a peaceful neighborhood. That's an inter interesting question. Well, let us enter. Please select a realm layout. Oh, I don't know. Ugh, I, I haven't thought about this. Floating abode. Can I click on it without... Here we go. This. An island cluster suspended in midair. A typical feature of many Adepti realms. A boundless world featuring nothing besides a cluster of islands. Emerald Peak. A cloud-piercing mountain peak. Well... That's how it looks, at least. But being inside a teapot and all, the highest mountain probably reaches no higher than the stalk of a tea leaf. And a cool isle, an island cluster surrounded by water. One wonders how many cups of tea can be brewed from this vast ocean. Well, that's a hard no. So it's either going to be floating abode or emerald peak. Emerald peak looks really nice. But so does the floating abode. I like this more traditional Adepti realm. Look. Ah, let's just go for the floating mode. Select. Yes. It's done now. Oh, <laughs> I like that emblem. I like how they did the emblems for each of the areas. So it's cute they did incorporate the Serenity Pot as well. Wow! This teapot seems even bigger inside than Madame Pink's! There's even a great big house in the middle too! There is indeed a great big house, and I didn't have to build it. How fantastic. Ooh, a tree. I don't really see my islands. Are my islands back there? They must be. Huh. But there's just a whole load of nothing around it. And whatever that is, it looks like a floating cat. Get chiseling on Paimon. You could carve us a whole house out of this rock. <laughs> Go dig a bar to live in for now, I guess. Paimon can't do that. Uh, well, you're the one with the sword anyway. You do it. Uh, it... Paimon, you, you can't chisel with a sword. Well, actually, I suppose you can. It's got a point. But you'd break the poor thing. Still, why is it so empty here apart from that house? Come now, Paimon. Haven't you heard of customization? Oh, wait a second. What is that? I don't know. I told you it looks like a floating cat from back here. I can't really see. Yeah. Okay, there are my floating aisles. Nice. I do like this field of... of just grass. It looks pretty cool as well. I like it as the house already pre-built. Oh, it's the bird! The the assistant. Yes, yes, yes. Hi! Well, it seems that we have a visitor. Oh, you've got a cute voice. It's a huge finch! Okay, it's a finch. What do you know? I like a cute little bow on top. Excuse me, I am not a finch. I am a teapot spirit, and you may call me... Um... Hang on a moment. What am I supposed to be called again? Oh no, you don't remember your name? Shall I pick a name for you? Oh, call me. I suppose you may call me Tubby. Because you're Tubby? <laughs> what kind of a name is that? You certainly look the part. So you're the little helper Madam Ping mentioned? I like the emphasis on little. <laughs> Madam Ping? Oh, you must mean Ping. Yes, she did summon She's me She's adorable. Here. She told me much about you. You may leave all matters regarding the upkeep of this realm to me. 
I shall. Thank you, Tubby. Your journey may be far from over, but at least this way, you will not want for a comfortable place to sleep each night. It's what the teapot spirit exactly. Though it is the Adepti who create realms such as this, they generally do not have the time of day to attend to the banal matter of their maintenance. Fair cool. Thus, we teapot spirits were created to help guard their realms and manage their affairs. I like how you're just floating on a piece of crockery. You may consider me a butler, if you will. You're too adorable for that. Now, allow me to explain this realm to you. Please do. Have you any blueprints on you? Specifically, blueprints with beautiful rooms, chairs, and the like. So I think I got some blueprints, didn't I? As long as you have a blueprint, you can refashion this realm however you please. Blueprints? Oh, that's right! Granny handed us some when she gave us the teapot, didn't she? Let's take them out and have a look. But I don't think I got many. I'm yes, waiting? these yes, are the go. blueprints I'm talking about. Go on, open them up. Just commit the image of the objects to memory and prepare the necessary materials. Prepare the necessary materials. There it is. Then simply release the thought from your mind and the object in the blueprint shall appear within this teapot. Wow! Is that all it takes? Then we could build a whole city inside, couldn't we? Sounds like a lot of effort, Paimon. Mm, I doubt it. A golden-eyed adeptus explained this to me at some point in the past. He said that even though subspace creation is a product of adeptal power, even that has its limits. This world is not a true one, after all. It provides merely a moment of brief respite from the mortal realm, not a means of escaping it entirely. A golden-eyed adeptus? Paimon wonders, who could that be? What color eyes does Shao have? He's a blue, right? They're not gold. Hmm. I hardly remember myself. What's more, I have never seen that Adeptus again since. How very strange. Well, let's not dwell on that. Indeed. Have a look around. Best you get accustomed to this realm. Thanks, Tubby. If there's anything you would like to ask, just look for me. You bet I will. Thanks, Tubby. <laughs> Serenity Pot, important message. After using and summoning the Serenity Pot, travelers can interact with it and enter the bow within. Yeah, but what if I, how, how do I get the pot back? That's my question, because it's clearly left my inventory. Hmm. Travelers can also use and summon the pot while they are within its confines. Okay. Oh, that's how you leave it. Interacting with the Serenity Pot in this state will allow travelers to leave it. Travelers can also directly open the map interface and fast travel to any of the teleport waypoints to immediately leave the Serenity Pot. Ah, well, that's how I would have done it, personally. Talk to the Teapot Spirit inside the Serenity Pot to learn about and manage all manner of teapot-related affairs. You can create all kinds of items. Yeah, nah, they're a hot commodity. Not happening. From the creation screen. Materials used to create items can be gathered all over the world. Are we really chopping down trees now? Oh my. After obtaining a furnishing, use the place function to put it in position. Is that a shop? Oh, this is going to be cool. Play, except it requires grinding for useless things. But hey, place furnishings to increase the adeptal energy rank of your serenity pot. As your adeptal energy rank increases, realm of currency will accumulate at a faster rate. Okay. Spend realm currency in the realm depot. I do depot. hope the Knights of Favonius are all working hard. Gosh, Jane. To purchase various items. Once in a while, a teapot traveling salesman will visit your abode. Ow, I just scratched myself. Oof, that hurt. There is a chance that he will bring some rare treasures with him. If you acquire the blueprint for a furnishing set, you can place furnishings by batch. You can still make adjustments to individual individual furnishings by batch placing them. Okay. F7. Special notice. Travelers, please ensure that you follow our terms of service while using the Serenity Pot system. To create a healthy gaming environment, please read and confirm that you will not instigate or take part in. 1. The creation of content that discriminates against any race, gender, religion, sexual orientation, ethnicity, government, or region. 2. The bullying or insulting of any travelers or groups of travelers. 3. Any other content or behavior that violates the terms of services. 
We may have to restrict your use of the game's services if you do not follow these rules. This may include suspension, restriction, or a permanent ban on the use of the Serenity Pot system, forced disconnection, login suspension, or an account ban. At the same time, Onwards. you are welcome to we use have the work to do. Shh. To use a report function to send feedback to us, should you encounter the aforementioned situations. I don't understand how any of the above is even possible, but sure. I just line us. Oh my gosh. Okay, so my. Oh, I've got a little entry place here. Oh, a little side bits. Probably not place anything there, but that's pretty. I like that. And then we've got that by. How do I. How do I rotate? Just line us. Yeah, but. Regular rotation. Aha! Okay, so we've got a little bit there by that tree, a little bit of plant there, massive bit around it. Oh, we've got another entry point there, that's adorable. Or is that the same one? Ah, oh, must be the same one. No, 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 there is a tepper one. Cool. Got some plants already, I like it. Alrighty, oh. Okay, we've got a lemmas we can't get to. <laughs> Uh, where's the bridge? Then we got the bridge. Oh no! I can physically go there, but I can't place anything up there. Oh. Oh no! I can't even place anything down there. I've just realised this white line must be the extent of my placement. Huh? Why? 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 Why are you gonna stifle me like this? I want to place things over there, and like, what? What's the point of the big landmass if I can't place anything on it? Hmm. Anywho, we have courtyard building, landform, landscape, animal, main building, outdoor furnishing, outdoor set. Well, so far we've got absolutely nothing. Courtyard wall. I don't have a courtyard wall to place. Large ornament. Nor do I have any large ornaments. <laughs> Buildings. Liwa. Monstat. Hugel style. Mercantile. And a free booth. Well, I have a mercantile thingy, but wouldn't I want to keep it all in the Leowin style? So it can all, like, match. Wind chill aisle. What, what's this? I'll never switch areas for now. Okay. But, like... Why, why there? Can, can I place it somewhere else? Why is it physically... Ah, there we go. But I don't know where I, I want it. I don't really know what else I can get. So why would I want to place something if I don't know where I want to place things? I might want gardens all here. I don't know. If you, like, grade out everything that you could get that you can't access at the moment, I would know how to do this. Because I would want them to be consistent with Liyua. But, hmm. Landform. Mountains, rocks, trees, shrubs, nothing. Uh, landscape item, terrace, ornament, lighting, outdoor creatures, main building, mansion, current, new, 750. Alrighty. That might be just sneezing. Outdoor furnishing, ooh, we're gonna sneeze again. Fence, seating, table, cabinet, oh god. Oh my gosh. And outdoor sets, of which we have nothing. So all I can place is this mercantile building. But what is the point? What does it get me? Nothing? I just, I don't know where I bloody want it. Oh no, did you just ruin my grass? No. Shall we put it right in the back on an angle? <laughs> I like the way the grass just grows back. I mean, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Can I can I move it later? God, I hope so. Open air workshop. Snap to grid. Snap furniture. Rotation for rotation. Day. Camera reset. Retrieve furnishings. Retrieve furnishings in area. Interesting. Uh, okay, sure. Place that bad boy down. I don't get why we put it there, but sure. Save. Placing furnishings. Please wait. I have 840, whatever that is. Oh my gosh. Take long much? So you can only have 200 
things in here. Okay. Are you seriously taking this long? I literally placed just one building. Can I just hit the cross? Or is that going to break it all? <sighs> I'll just sit here and wait. How's that sound? Seriously, this is taking freaking forever. What if I hit that button? Then what? It's still placing furnishings. Forge. Okay, this whole place is a forge. Huh. What do you know? What is that? Oh, it's just a book. Okay. Cool. I have a forge, guys. I had no idea it was a forge, but I have a forge. I think I broke the game. I think I broke it. Whoopsies. What well, other information you're trying to impart onto me? Cool. We done? Yes. And then... Okay, so that's the build. Check the placement screen and save your furnishing placement. Well, it's still struggling to do so. Vivacious smoke leaf. Oh yay, so we can put some plants up. And we get a flower arrangement. Sprawling daybreak. Can we put things inside? Can I get inside the building? That's my next question. Claim. Mine. Ooh, obtain 30 pieces of wood through cutting down trees. Oh, they're so pretty. Obtain three types of wood through cutting down trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enter mansion. We're about to do that. Process one die. I don't know how to do that or that. I get rocks. Learn three furnishing blueprints. Construct three furnishings. Obtain 100 realm currency. Reach trust rank two. Reach adaptable energy rank humble abode. Oh, we get furniture. All right. And this is just round one. I'm going to get right on that. I'm going to have to put the trees by that because it looks bloody lonely, but then so does my house. Let's just enter the mansion. Enter! Oh, this place is nice. I like this place. God, it would take so much to fill this thing. Enter mansion. So we get a table. And a furnishing set blueprint. How do I use the item though? Is it in my bag somewhere? Here. Use. Use. Eh. Oh! I can make lanterns! Okay, that's it, yeah? I think that's it. Okay. So then... Then three furnishings. We get... A lamp. And a rug. Okay, let's learn those. And let's place some things. Indoor! Okay, we cycle from room to room. We've got the main hall, southeast side in a room, south, e south side in a room, north side in a room. Oh my god! Corridor! And then back to the main hall. It just looks so funny. So, decoration. Wall, none. Floor, none. Ceiling, none. Ceiling left. I have a door. This is the wrong house, dude, to be using a door. We use doorways. Stairs. Current. We have a staircase somewhere? 
Oh yeah, we do too. Hence the corridor upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes total sense. Okay, so we essentially just have two rooms. That room there, that room there. I think. So that's the right room. It's the left room. Where's the north side room? I'm a little confused. Oh, now we're upstairs. Oh dear. Oh, because you... Ah, I see. I got it. I understand. Ish. Ish. Uh, okay, so staircase is already in use. Nice. Large furnishings. Cabinet. Bookcase. A nice table. Counter and bed. Small furnishings. Seating. Ornament. Carpet. Ornaments. Lighting. Potted plant. Utensil. What about that plant I got? Is it an exterior plant? Must be. Artwork. Hanging ornament. Animal. Indoor set. Where's my lighting set? Is that for outside as well? You have yet to complete this. What? Oh, I need to have the individual stuff. I don't know how to make those things. I can only make the table. Right. So all that stuff must be outside then. It's a bit of a bummer. Okay, so there's an inner door. We've got a lantern. The other side will be the same. We've got nice space here. Don't know what we're going to use it for. A desk and some bookshelves would be nice, but hey, who knows if we're getting those. And then up here we have the other. Oh! Rooms we cannot access. Super. So we only have the double rooms downstairs, and that's it. Hmm. Rato. Okay, so the other things must be for out here then. For somewhere. Landform. Tree! It's so tiny and itty bitty. Sure. Place that bad boy there. Looks kind of lonely. I'm gonna need to put some more there. Let's do that. That. Sure. Why not? Do I feel like I need to put anything around here? Well, I don't really know what my final form is gonna look like. I still feel like it needs a lot more trees in this place. It's very barren. Where'd the lanterns go? Do I... Where'd the lanterns go? Do I just not have the things to build them? And the, the floor lanterns? Well, at least we've got some trees here to ground this building a little bit. This tree looks lonely. It needs a bush or something. Seriously though, where'd my lanterns go? I'm so confused. Can you answer the question of where my lanterns went? And how do I know what stuff I need to make these things. Maybe you're not used to the place at the moment, but once you've materialized enough rooms and furniture through subspace creation, it will feel just like home. Yeah, Tubby, I think it's going to take a bit of time to do that. Switch realm style. Create furnishing. Realm... Okay, create furnishing. Here we go. Right, right, right. So I need sand bearer wood. I need fabric. How the frig do I get fabric? I don't know how to get that. And red dye. I don't know how to get that either. I wish it would tell me. 14 hours for one bloody object. 
Holy shit, and you can only do one thing at a time. This is going to be the most painful, time-consuming piece of crap ever. It's exactly the same thing. I don't know where to get that. I don't know where to get that. So we're off to a good start. See previous point. You need pine wood. Fir wood. Do we buy the dye from you? Oi! Don't run away. Maybe you can be exchanged for at trust rank two. Yeah, but how the frig do I get there? And how do I get that? I don't know how to get that. Will immediately complete a furnishing when used. God, you can get all kinds of trees and rocks. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at these trees. You can only get three? That's a bit stupid. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Lewin houses. Ah, uh, there's so much cool shit. What about ground? Can I get. Ooh, you can get walls? Aisla knows the question. How, how do I get this? You haven't explained... It's like... <sighs> this game only explains things in half measures. Can be exchanged for at trust rank 2. Okay, well tell me how to get to trust rank 2. You can only buy these things with this currency. Cool. Tell me how to get this currency. Ah, oh, It's so frustrating. Maybe you're... Give me more explicit instructions. I've got nothing. Oh my god. Bare bones. I'm not sure I understand. Realm currency accumulation rate four per hour. Okay. I don't really understand. Is this four per hour or is this four per hour? They're separate things, yes. This is the coins. This is the that. I have no idea. Max run currency stored. Are you kidding me? Um, unlock exterior area one. Max furnishings creation queue increased to one. Number of available realm layouts increased to one. The types of goods brought by the teapot traveling salesman's abode have been increased to four. We get primer gems, a vial of adeptal speed, and a monstat building that is of zero use to me. Fantastic. Great. Yeah. I've got a hundred coins. This is not going to go far. Maybe you. Yeah, I, I've just got to build stuff. So okay, they're just realm treasures. I can't get, but I can get the furnishings themselves. But these furnishings don't give me uh, the trusty thingy. Oh, this shit's expensive. Oh my god. I can get literally one thing. One solitary thing, or I buy one blueprint. This is far harder than it needs to be. So you just manually throw a, a wall down or a building down? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can't even get flooring. I can't get lighting. What does it say? Sanctifying unction. Mm hmm Well, what kind of tree do you want, Mish? Do you want that one or that one? I'm leaning towards that one. Cool, yay, I have a tree. 
Oh, today. Ah. Congratulations, you have a tree. Let's go place the tree. Shrub. I said I wanted a shrub. It's the wrong colour shrub, but I got a shrub. Oops. Definitely the wrong colour, but... Asking you sure receive. I should have gotten a lighter green one. I think, how close can I get to that building? It was fine two seconds ago, and now all of a sudden it isn't fine. What the hell? Sure. Whatever. Place that bad boy. We can always rip it up and do it again later. Though I don't know if I get this back if I do that. Wait, that's, I don't even know what that is. What's this costing me to build things? Uh... Yeah, it costs these, whatever that is. Well, that place over yonder is not looking too bad. <laughs> Everything else looks like shit. 